Hi there, welcome to Apple World yet again. Willow Smith demonstrated that there are no untouchable subjects for herself or her loved ones. The vocalist, as of late, created a ruckus with the fans via virtual entertainment by sharing her capricious perspectives on connections during an appearance on her mom's show, Red Casual Conversation. I'm a kid, or I'm a young lady, and I want to act this way. And keeping in mind that a few fans are lauding Willow for being so straightforward, others are saying her way of life ought not be standardized. So what precisely did Willow uncover about what she called an option in contrast to monogamy? You're going to find out. However, before we get into that, we require one moment to buy into our feed so you don't pass up any of the most recent celebrity news, all right? We should discuss Willow and her most recent appearance on Jada Pinkett Smith's television show, Red Casual Conversation. No mystery, Will and Jada aren't the very most regular guardians, and they've both gotten a considerable amount of reaction throughout the years for their nurturing style. As a matter of fact, a few fans are presently saying that Willow's way of life is a consequence of being given an excess of opportunity as a youngster. Back in 2014, Willow ignited a colossal debate when she presented with 20-year-old Hannah Montana star Moises, Aria is a progression of highly contrasting photographs that many individuals believed were very improper. In one of the photographs, Willow was seen lying in bed, confronting the camera, while a shirtless Moises sat on the bed, resting on a wall. Moises initially shared the questionable photograph on his Instagram before rapidly erasing it after his post sparked a ton of reaction from fans. As per Radar on the web, after the photograph was shared via virtual entertainment, Kid Defensive Administrations in Los Angeles reached out and examined Willow concerning partaking in a photograph shoot with a 20-year-old entertainer. An insider told Radar Online at the time that social specialists needed to converse with Willow's companion Moises about the photograph, which portrays them on a similar bed together, and added that in spite of the fact that there have been no claims of any bad behaviors or criminal operations by Moises, Willow had been addressed two times alongside their folks Will and Jada. Nonetheless, Willow's mother, Jada, shielded the photograph shoot and guaranteed that there was nothing unseemly with Willow presenting, while at the same time lying in bed close to a shirtless 10-year-old. Jada told TMZ in May 2014, Here's how things are. There was nothing sexual about that image. You folks are extending your rubbish onto it. Yet, the fans then terminated back at Jada and expressed that regardless of what she believed that everybody should accept, there was nothing she could say to legitimize permitting her young girl to model for these sorts of photographs. One individual remarked on Twitter, something is off with this, mom. Shaking my head as honestly as is commonly said, the image says the inverse. Utilize your great judgment, celebs. Different fans let Jada know that she ought to require a doubt since, supposing that it was pretty much as guiltless as she suspected, individuals wouldn't respond as they were. Another Twitter client added that this simply demonstrates that you need to authorize discipline, show construction, and show right from wrong before you can give a wealth of opportunity to kids. Quick forward to 2021, and the fans are currently saying precisely the same thing regarding Jada and Will's loose nurturing style and the manner in which it influences their children this time around. The fans' response was set off by Willow's new appearance on Jada's show, Red Casual Conversation, where she talked about her sexuality and her elective perspectives on marriage. Willow previously emerged as sexually unbiased quite a while back when she was 18 years of age. And furthermore, she examined her advantage in dating one man and one lady simultaneously. During a June 2019 episode of Red Casual Conversation, which was centered around eccentric connections, Willow became dependent on her mom, Jada, and grandma Adrienne Banfield Norris about her sexuality. Fundamentally, Willow told her mother and her grandmother that she didn't believe in monogamy and was keen on dating more than each individual in turn. Jada, who, coincidentally, looked pretty awkward with what Willow was talking about, attempted to make sense of what her girl implied was that she was keen on polyamory. In the event that you're thinking about what precisely polyamory implies, Wikipedia characterizes it as the act of or want of close connections with more than one accomplice, with the educated assent regarding all accomplices included. In less difficult terms, it fundamentally implies dating various individuals simultaneously with everybody's assent. As per an article on polyamory distributed in the Drifter magazine, 
It is assessed that 4-5% of individuals living in the U.S. are polyamorous or partaking in different types of open connections. While 20% of individuals have basically endeavored a moral non-monogamy sooner or later in their lives of some sort. Concerning Willow, she evidently accepts that the main reason individuals stick to monogamous connections is on the grounds that they have an unreliable outlook on their accomplice loving another person. As per Willow, monogamy keeps you in that uncertain perspective and keeps you from adoring more. What's more, despite the fact that Jada attempted to make sense of during Willow's 2019 Red Casual Conversation interview that a monogamous relationship has various stages, she concurred with Willow about monogamy being unfortunate since it doesn't give you enough opportunity. Willow additionally said that, in light of her perusal and examination, she understood marriage isn't about affection, but rather about possession. At the point when Willow's grandmother attempted to contribute and said polyamory wasn't something she was okay with, Willow halted her and said, the entire thought is tied in with making a local area with interconnected sympathy and correspondence. Willow called polyamory the advancement of human relations. And keeping in mind that Adrienne says she would never be in a polyamorous relationship, Willow said she's 100% open to it since she would rather not prevent herself from advancing as much as she does. Can from however many individuals as she can. And keeping in mind that Adrienne didn't appear to be excessively excited with what she was hearing, Jada urged her little girl to explore however much could be expected so she could figure out what her identity is. However, a ton of fans rushed to bring up the fact that Willow fundamentally conceded that her perspectives on monogamy and marriage were shaped by what she saw throughout everyday life. As you most likely know, Willow's folks, Will and Jada, have recently said they like to portray their relationship as a daily existence organization instead of marriage. Notwithstanding, after Jada's scandalous ensnarement with R&B vocalist August Alsina, the fan said Will and Jada ought to consider it an open marriage. After Willow's 2019 meeting on Red Casual Conversation was broadcast, many fans remarked how this simply demonstrates she's the result of her current circumstances. Willow watched her mom and father go through something. That is the reason she feels the way she does, as one fan remarked at that point. Certain individuals were likewise saying in those days that Willow's perspectives on marriage were only a stage and that she was excessively juvenile to get a handle on grown-up connections. Nonetheless, Willow, as of late, multiplied down on her viewpoints about monogamy and affirmed that she is for sure polyamorous. On Wednesday, April 28, the Willow again showed up on Red Casual Conversation to examine her advantage in polyamorous connections and affirmed she's not exactly keen on getting hitched. Willow again said opportunity makes the biggest difference to her in a relationship, and that polyamory could be an answer for broken relationships and infidelity. Jada then, at that point, says she thoroughly comprehends where her girl is coming from on the grounds that, as she would see it, many individuals stay in monogamous connections simply because they feel like it's their main decision. Nonetheless, Grandmother Adrienne again differed and attempted to make sense of the fact that monogamy is useful to society. Furthermore, she says she fails to see what sort of advantage polyamory can offer. And keeping in mind that Willow guaranteed it was feasible to cherish numerous individuals simultaneously, Adrian said she couldn't understand that idea. With respect to marriage, Willow said the historical backdrop of marriage maddens her and uncovered that she would possibly get hitched, assuming it was totally essential for monetary reasons. As you can imagine, Willow, Jada, and Adrian's conversation again started with an extraordinary discussion via online entertainment about everything from the advantages of monogamy to Jada and Willow's unusual nurturing style. A few fans hailed Willow for being so open with her mother and grandmother and not being reluctant to carry on with life as her true self. Others, nonetheless, said that despite the fact that individuals ought to be permitted to be whoever they need to be, polyamory isn't something that ought to be standardized. One individual brought up how polyamory could be blamed for cheating and said connections like that don't keep going long except if for a couple. Likewise, dealing with numerous individuals with an equivalent measure of consideration, love, and responsibility is for the most part uncommon to find, yet chiefly it tends to be motivation to play with many individuals.